So you have an Apple TV 4K, and you have an issue when you're playing a video or a show on Hulu where you can hear the audio, maybe you can see the subtitles. However, there's no picture, there's no video, okay? The screen is black or blank. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. First thing is first. The first uh, possible step is let's just do a simple restart. Go ahead and press on the menu on your Apple TV remote. We're going to go to settings over here. And then from here, you just want to scroll down. We want to go to system. And then we want to scroll down to where it says restart right here. And then go ahead and click on OK. And let's go ahead and let this restart, OK? Now, the thing is, after it restarts, go ahead and open up Hulu. And you guys are probably up and running, OK? The thing is, what you want to do, if you're up and running, the next thing you want to do is turn your TV off and then turn it back on. Because if you have the same problem, you don't want to have to continue to keep doing the restart, OK? Anyways, if you, have, if you turn the TV off and you have to do the whole restart procedure again, then we're going to move to the next step. Okay, so the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to pull the uh, power cord out of your Apple TV. You can see my Apple TV is on by a the solid white light. What I want to do while it's on, go ahead and find the power cable, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the plug just like this. Leave it for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds is up, let's go ahead and pop that back in here. Wait for everything to boot back up, and then go ahead and open up Hulu. Give it a try. Hopefully you guys are up and running. If not, you're still getting a black screen or a black or a blank screen, no video. We're going to go to the next step here. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is what we're going to do is we're going to force the Apple TV to restart using the remote. Okay, so how do you do that? It's a two key combination. What we want to do is we want to press and hold the menu button and the home button. Press and hold the same time. Do not let go until we see the... Um, the, the white light, it starts blinking, okay? So we'll do this together, okay? Menu, home button, ready? Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold, and let's wait till we see the white light start flashing on the Apple TV, okay? I'm still holding on both buttons. There's, it's flashing now. I go, go ahead and let go. Screen is black. Let this boot back up. And then once it's booted back up, open up Hulu, give it a try. Hopefully you're up and running. Also, you may wanna go ahead and shut your TV off and then turn it back on and also make sure that uh, Hulu is working correctly with the video and everything, okay? However, if you guys are still down, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so the uh, next step here is, again, grab your remote, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold another two key combination, okay? This time, we're gonna press and hold the menu button and the volume down button, except this time we had to press and hold for about 10 seconds, and then just let go. After we let go, the TV should turn black and then turn back on, or it'll turn black, and then you'll get a window that pops up on the TV, and it says, if you can see this Apple logo, to click on OK, okay? Anyways, let's just give it a try. Menu, volume down, okay? We wanna press and hold for about 10 seconds. Menu, volume down, ready? One, two, three. Press and hold for about 10 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 10. let go. Okay, I got a black screen, and then, okay, I thought it was going to go ahead and start back up. Sometimes you get this right here, okay? It says, uh, if you can see the Apple T, the Apple logo, go to OK. I see the Apple logo here. I'm going to go to OK. Most of you guys will just get, like, a black screen. They'll turn back on. Anyways, uh, whatever happens doesn't matter. Open up Hulu. Hopefully, you guys are up and running. If not, we're going to go to the next step. All right, so next up here is, now it's a possibility that your HDMI port could be faulty or you may have lint in there or something in there. Anyways, what I want you to do is go ahead and pull the, your HDMI cable that's hooked up to your Apple TV. Pull it and connect it to a different HDMI port. Don't forget, once you do that, you need to go ahead and uh, grab your remote or whatnot. And you have to make sure that you go back to the um, uh, whatever HDMI input, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, or HDMI 3. Make sure you go back to that um, HDMI port. And then from there, go ahead and open up uh, Hulu. Hopefully, you guys are back up and running. If you guys are still down, then, and you've come this far in this video, the most likely corporate of your issue, guys, is, believe it or not, is this bad boy here, okay? This is a standard HDMI cable here. This one works great. All my other TVs, my other um, Apple TVs, I have no issue with, the, with, with, uh, with this cable here. However, with the Hulu on this one, 
I had an issue with this cable here. And what I did was I just happened to buy a brand new high speed HMI cable, plugged it in, no problem. Okay, this is a braided high speed. I'll put a link below where you can get this. Anyways, yeah, get a new high speed cable and hopefully you guys are up and running. Now, if you got the, H the new high speed HMI cable and you're still having issues or uh, you don't want to get the HDMI cable uh, right away, you want to try one more last thing, then you can also try to do a factory reset. And just go ahead and grab your remote. And we're going to go to the settings here. Again, go to menu, and uh, we're going to go to the uh, settings. And then we're going to go all slide all the way down to where it says system right here. And then you want to go down to where it says reset. And then you want to go, all, go up there where it says reset. Don't forget, with the factory reset, guys, you are basically resetting your Apple TV back to factory original default settings. Meaning once the factory uh, um, reset is complete, it'll be as if you just bought this brand new, took it out of the box, and then remember, you gotta start from the very beginning. You gotta pick your region, your country, your, you're putting your Wi-Fi password, and you gotta, put in, you gotta sign into Hulu and all that stuff. Anyways, guys, let me know which step worked for you, all right?